Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our last case of 2017 Panini Limited Football. Pick your team five. That's our last case. With all the random team breaks and all the pick your team breaks, done. We're going to try to get some more. But for now, I don't have anything to repost until we, have, we, until we know we have the cases in the store. All right, but for the people in this last pick your team case for now, thanks to these folks here. So on, the, on a Saturday, 27th, Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. You boys and girls could be doing anything. Watching a movie, playing in the snow. Is there snow? Yeah, playing in the snow. You know, being with your significant others. No, but instead you're going to hang out with Joe. I like that. Thank you. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, this is not going to be a clean box opening. Oh, no, I saved it. It's the little things in life, folks. It's the little things in life. There you go, 5, 10, 15 boxes. Pick your teams. At the end of this break would be a, uh, will be a superb owl square. Or actually, one four squares. Actually, one person will win four squares, which is uh, which is pretty exciting. All right, good luck, everyone. Well, the Super Bowl, well, Pro Bowl's tomorrow. No one cares about the Pro Bowl. The Super Bowl, though, is gonna. I don't know. We're just a little over a week away from the Super Bowl, which is pretty exciting. Does anyone have any Super Bowl plans? Does anyone have any? Do you guys do anything like exciting? Like a big, I don't know, some people just take it easy. They don't do the whole Super Bowl thing. You know, they just watch at home, relax with a couple friends. Some people like to host a huge house party, a big barbecue, you know, or a cookout, one of the two. You know, do one of those things. Maybe maybe your block has like a big thing. You know, maybe some of you like to go to, uh, go to the local, you know, the local public house and Pay fifty dollars to reserve a table for you and do all that sort of stuff. Schroeder's going to a friend's house. Nothing crazy for him. All right, we'll breeze through these base cards. If I do it this way, it's a lot easier for me to grab all those. Yeah, usually. I don't have anything planned at the moment. Usually someone in my friend group will have like something going on and it all it usually works itself out. Mark Brunel reveals as Sidney Jones. 17 out of 25 for the Fly Eagles Fly. That goes to the uh, to William and the Fly Eagles Fly. Yeah, some of the base cards have one of ones. Big boy, in, the, in this set, you mean? They do. It's pretty exciting. Jay Cutler, oh, is going to have a, it's going to reveal a redemption. Beyond LaShawn McCoy, fifty-seven out of ninety-nine is Malcolm Mitchell, double O three out of one twenty-five. Uh, Andy Garner is going to a friend's house who's a huge Eagles fan. Hopefully, it turns out. Hopefully, it turns out right. Way back in the day, when I was a wee lad, I hosted a, uh, still a wee lad, I guess. I hosted a, uh, a Super Bowl party when the Raiders were in the Super Bowl, when they were playing the uh, Buccaneers. That was a sad one. Um, wow. Rookie patch autographs. Gold. What's gold? RPA Gold. Let's get my limited. Why do I not have this limited football checklist up for these situations? Does anyone know what gold is off the top of their head? RPA Golds? No, I got it. Never mind. Too late. Out of 50. Gold Spotlight is out of 50. RPA card number 129. Bam, Leonard Fournette for Corey K. Nice.
nice hit. Next one. <laughs> that card is Lars, right, Big Boys 007? That's right, Dave. That card is gold! Classic moment. Classics. Um, I don't know if Karen is still listening, or I'm sure she'll eventually watch this video. Karen, um, I don't know if you do anything big for the for the Super Bowl for your Patriots, but uh, if you live in Southern California, you would you would like this place called Sunny McLean's, which is a Irish pub in Santa Monica near where I live, and it's pretty much a Boston bar. So you'll get so they'll they'll play. Uh, you know, so they on the on the one side of the bar, they've got like the Bruins and the Patriots and the Red Sox logo painted on there, and um, but for the Super Bowls, place is packed. Like like they do the thing where you have to like res pay like forty bucks a, uh, just to reserve a chair at the bar or something like that. You know, so it's one of those deals. And like local news crews usually come out there. And um, wait, you've been there? Oh yeah, that's one. That's, Aside from all of you Boston people there, it's one of my favorite bars to go to. Big Boys 007, we should go there when you come up. Or come down from Northern California. Come up to Santa Monica. Oh, well. See? Karen's a true fan. She knows, she knows, she sniffs out the uh, Boston bars in LA. But yeah, that's, not, that's, that's a really, that's, that's actually a really cool spot. I don't know how long it's been since you've been there. Nice Noah Brown. Two out of ninety-nine, but I think about five years ago or so, um, a new owner picked it up, picked up the place, and um, they like they revamped the inside. I mean, the the bar is still there, but I think they redid the layout a little bit. They got a nice chef in there, so the food menu is a lot better. Uh, that's another redemption. Um, and um, what else? Uh, there's Joe Namath, ninety-four out of ninety-nine. Delaney Walker, twenty nine out of one twenty five. Oh, they got a they got a hard liquor license because they were previously were just beer and wine. I don't know if that's your thing, but they they got a spirits license, so now they now they can have now they have a full bar there too, which is both good and bad. People get a little more rowdy with the full bar there. All right, there you go. Redemption. Oh, is that right, Dave? Well, we should go there. It's, it's. I mean, it's a, bit, a little bit of a drive, but it'll be easier for me to Uber home. R. Joshua Dobbs, Rookie Patch Autographs, Emerald Spotlight. Emeralds are out of five. Michael Gallucci, time to wake up the house. Are you ready, Mike? Is everyone asleep, Michael? No, nah, you got to do it. I mean, I guess it's our Joshua Dawes. Maybe, maybe that's not waking up houseworthy. Still a train whistle, though. Still a train whistle. If the kids are still up, they sh they can do this too. Uh, there you go. Emerald spotlight. Everyone's asleep, says Steel Kern. You can do it quietly. Um, our Joshua Dobbs, RPA Emerald. Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. I mean, whoa, whoa. turn the volume down, I guess. All right, next one. That's true, Karen. A lot of Patriots fans in Southern California. Yeah, um, a good a good chunk of a uh, good portion of my friends are are unfortunately a bunch of uh, a bunch of Boston people. You guys, you guys are you guys are insane. But okay, so your cousin lives out in San Diego, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of you lot out here. En enough to enough to have a great bar in Santa Monica. It's been there for ages, actually. You know they caught Whitey Bulger here. They called it. They caught Whitey Bulger out in Santa Monica, just literally like ten blocks from where I live. Very close. I probably walked by a Whitey Bulger, and I was like, hey, that's just some old guy. Not a feared gangster from Boston. It was the inspiration for the guy in uh, in The Departed. 
Scorsese's Departed. All right. Behind Matthew Stafford is Mark Brunel. Remember him? 17 out of 25. That's right, yeah. You boss him off. Just hiding out here, Karen. Just hanging out. Both literally and figuratively. <laughs> Mark Brunel, 17 out of 25. Karen and her Patriots would be quaking in their booties if Mark Brunel was out there instead of Blake Bortles. That goes to Jaguars. That goes to Corey. Stephon Diggs, 94 out of 99, revealing a Delaney Walker. I'm pretty sure those are... Did he go to the Pro Bowl? I'm pretty sure those are Pro Bowl patches. 14 out of 25 for the Titans. Ed Ramos with the Titans. The Stephon Diggs number card goes to end mark. Behind Le'Veon Bell is Taiwan Taylor for Ed Ramos. Nice RPA, 172 out of 299. One of the nicest autographs in the hobby. I'm rooting for this guy to succeed in the NFL just so we can keep seeing these nice autos. It'd be a shame if he just ended up being a, a nobody. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. For those of you who enjoy maybe uh, maybe wagering a, a penny or two on 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 some on on the Super Bowl, we're gonna go through some prop bets, some fun prop bets that you can uh, you can weigh in on if you'd like. I I don't really bet do prop bets propositions, but but people like them apparently during a Super Bowl. The prop bets, and there's a, there's usually a lot of them. That's probably why too, and they're they're easy for casuals to like, you know. I'm a casual, but it's usually easy for casuals to do that. Um, usually, prop bets they say here's another redemption. Prop bets make up fifty percent of the handle, if not a little bit more, which is kind of crazy. Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara, what? Dual relic, dual auto, twenty two out of twenty five. Wow, that's Dano with the Saints. That's nice. MT, that's his autograph. And Lights Camera Action. That's not too shabby at all. 12 out of 49, Broadway Joe and Devonta Freeman is your limitless. 2 out of 25. Falcons, Dale with the Falcons. Yeah, that is a nice one, huh? Saints duel. That's what I heard, Schroeder. Someone already in Vegas put down a multi-million dollar bet on the Eagles to win. I believe, Schroeder, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that person was the same person that was riding the Dodgers in the World Series and was putting like a million dollars a game on it. And then when he would win, he would, he would continue to let it ride. Something like that. Uh, CJC guessing Christian McCaffrey on the redemption. It is actually... Another Jaguar, D.D. Westbrook, for Corey K. Is it Jaguar, like the band, Guar? Or is it Jaguar? I hear people say both. It's got to be Jaguar. It feels weird when people say Jaguar. It's not a Jaguar, right? It's a Jaguar. How do you say it? You let me know in the chat. Book. Oh, you so okay. So Schroeder was just hurting, hurting on the sports topic. So Andy says Guar. It's good. It's Guar. Definitely Guar. I don't know too many wire people. Jaguar people. Mostly Jaguar people. 
Oh, come on, Arthur, you don't say Jaguar. Do you really say Jaguar? William says Jaguar. There's the book. Arthur, you don't really don't say Jaguar. Come on. Envelope or envelope? There's a printing plate right there. That's just a base printing plate. So Arthur says Jaguar. Huh. I didn't see you, uh, I didn't take you for a Jaguar man. All right, T.Y. Hilton. Jeremy McNichol, whoa! 11, out, that's out of 50 they'll give you that patch? Dang. Buccaneers. Brewster with the Buccaneers, nice. Cruz is Jaguar. Huh. That's a third option, a Jaguar. Jaguar, Jaguar, Jaguar. Hmm. Ray Lewis, 71 out of 99. What time is the game time going to Alfonso? Hmm. Yeah, right, Brewster? Pretty sick, right? It's uh, the, the flag on the bucket. The one of one is Vaughn Miller. Train whistle for Asa. And the Broncos. And an All Aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! This book is really nice, by the way. Teaser. Teaser. CJ Beathard. 12 out of 25. Rookie Phenoms relic. And that really nice book is 39 out of 54, and it is Deshaun Watson. Boom! Draft day autograph. There's him with the commish. There's the autograph, and that's the jersey that he's holding right there. That enclosed jersey, presented on stage, blah, 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 blah. That's part of the jersey he's holding in that picture right there. Boom. 39 out of 54 on that draft day signature. Houston Texans, that goes to Dano with the Houston Texans. Dano back to his big hitting ways. <laughs> Arthur saying the commission hurts that value. Yeah, get out of here, Goodell. Arthur, you and I should just run the NFL. I feel like we can do a pretty decent job. Base car. Oh, I was going to go through prop bets, but we were pulling some nice hits and I got derailed. The Big Hit Express got derailed. But maybe the next box. Pierre Garçon revealing a Alvin Kamara RPA 211 out of 299. Dano with the Saints. Man, two color patch and auto lights, Camara action. Behind John Riggins out of 49 is Mr. Wayne Gallman, 92 out of 99. Wayne Gallman at the Stardust. John Riggins, 38 out of 49 for the Redskins. That'll be for Christine. And behind Dan the Man, Marino, Stacy Coley, 25 out of 35. That's right, William, derailed by big hits. Oh, the irony. All right. Outcome of the coin toss, ladies and gentlemen. It's minus 105. It's pretty much even money for uh, for each of those. Heads or tails? Who does everyone have? Outcome of the coin toss. Heads is minus 105. Tails minus 105. It's pretty it's pretty much even money. 
Is that another book? Arthur says heads. Steel Curtain says tails. This is not another book. I'll just got like thicker cardstock there. Arthur heads, Enmart heads, Edram heads, Steel Curtain tails, Andy Garner tails. Time to sing the national anthem. How long will it take for Pink, Pink is doing the national anthem, to, uh, will it take Pink to sing the U.S. national anthem? And the criteria is from the moment she sings first word until she completes saying brave for the first time. And the book manager's decision is final on that one. Over two minutes is minus 150. Under two minutes is plus 110. I'm sure I'll post some of these props in the, uh, in the Facebook group so we can chit chat about that. It should be pretty fun. Arthur says one minute 24. Arthur, so Arthur says under. Steel Curtain says under. There's value in the over though. If you're if you're a wagering man or woman. Odell Beckham Jr. reveals a Mike Williams, 42 out of 75. Love these on cards too. J Mac with the Chargers. And he says under two. 45 out of 49. Taiwan Taylor. It's out of 10. That's why it's on a thicker cardstock. 5 out of 10. Ah, Joe Cavanaugh. See, this this is the, the, Joe Cavanaugh, a bit of a candy capper here. Maybe see if she did it before on YouTube and check the time. But I don't know. Super Bowl's a different beast. Maybe Pink gets, I know Pink's a pro, but maybe she gets a little nervous. Maybe he rushes through the song a little bit. That's what happens. As a musician myself, I can tell you that, that uh, when you're nervous, when you're playing like concert or whatever, you tend to rush. So, I don't know, we're, we're handicapping the National Anthem. Matthew Days. Uh, so, sorry, Ed Ramos, you get this, the Titans, man. That's a nice hit out of 10. Nice color in there. I like, the, I, I like how it takes the length of the card, too. It makes for some nice sight lines right here. Matthew Days autograph for the Browns. That, that's for JKJ, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. Um, Let's see here. Uh, oh, King D. You don't have this team, but you would appreciate this. The Deshaun Watson draft day signatures. And that jersey right there is that one from the picture. Okay, what about Pink's hair color? What color will Pink's hair be when she starts to sing the national anthem? Predominant color is the criteria. Book manager's decision is fine. This is from Bovada. White blonde is plus 125. Pink red is plus 200. Green is plus 300. Arthur says green. Blue purple is plus 500. And brown black is plus 700. So the plus, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with money lines, plus means... Uh, it's like underdogs. It's it's least least likely to happen. So white blonde at at plus one twenty five is the best odds, and brown black plus seven hundred is the most underdog of dogs. For example, the Eagles are plus one sixty or one fifty five for the super, to win out outright on the Super Bowl, and the uh, Patriots are like think minus one ten or something like that. Uh, I don't know if Pink is from Philly. I actually don't know where she hails from. Wow, another Alvin Kamara? Saints with a hell of a break. There you go, Dano. 
Uh, I don't think red, white, and blue is an option. Your options are white, blonde, plus 125, pink, red, plus 200, green, plus 300, blue, purple, plus 500, brown, black, 700. Dalvin Tomlinson, 6 out of 35. Arthur says, yes, pink is from Philly. Ooh. Green, maybe? That's why Arthur's saying green. Green is plus 300. Blue, Seal Curtain said blue. The blue-purple combo is plus 500. Antonio Brown, 27 out of 99. Revealing some Steelers. Yeah, Rookie Phenom's Relic. 18 out of 99. All right. Here's a yes-no prop. Will Pink be airborne at any time, at any point, during her singing of the national anthem? Must be airborne from first note sang until she says brave for the first time. Will she be airborne? I don't think she will be. She may be airborne before the anthem. I don't think they're going to put her airborne singing the national anthem. I say no. No is minus 500. So that's, yes is plus 300. I always wonder, I mean, I'm sure Vegas would like close, like close wagering if they, if they caught wind of this. Like if any of like Pink's crew know that she's rehearsing the anthem, they'd like stop watch it. And then they'd like, they'd, you know, if you put like a thousand dollars on like under or whatever, they might close. They might close action on that. Huh? Will Pink forget or omit a word from the national anthem? Yes is plus four hundred. No is minus seven hundred. I don't think she will. That's why the minus is. Huh. I don't think she will. Arthur says yes. That's good value right there, Arthur. If you believe that. If you put a penny on that, plus 400, that's not too shabby. This is all for entertainment purposes, folks. No one should actually be following us in any of these wagers. And if you are doing these props, like, put like a penny on it. These props are silly. There's just, it's just lottery tickets, just scratcher. Just for funsies, folks, just for funsies. For entertainment purposes only. I don't want someone coming back here and being like, yeah, put a, I put $2,000 on Will Pink omit a word for at plus one plus 400 because Arthur said so. Arthur and Joe thought it was a good value. No, I don't want to hear any of that. Four out of 49, Warren Sapp revealing a Terry Bradshaw. 24 out of 25, primetime jerseys for Steel Curtain. Will Pink say Eagles before or after she sings the national anthem? Yes, plus 150. No is minus 200. No's the underdog. Redemption. And Gerald McCoy. 35 out of 49. Gerald McCoy for Brewster and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, that's a good question, sir. Steel Curran wants to know if this is game used on, on this one. No, player worn, I'm afraid. Rookie patch autographs gold, which I believe is out of 50. It's for the Fly Eagles Fly, Mac Hollins. Return of the Mac. Uh, William with the Eagles. Oh, no worries, Mike. We're goofing off with prop bets anyway. Might as well. This break will probably be the longest limited break I've done. All right. Second third of the case almost over. Um, let's see. Oh, man. are they, This is a prop. Look at this. Color of Bill Belichick's shirt at kickoff. Blue, gray, red, and white are your options. Blue is minus 150. That's the favorite. Gray is plus 130. Red is plus 1,000. And white is plus 1,000. Come on.
steel car says blue hoodie, so he's taking the favorite, the minus 100. Arthur likes Arthur likes gray at plus 130, so does Schroeder. Schroeder, there, there's also plenty of time left, sir, if you're worried about this break. Plenty of time left. Who do you have again? Rams. You have plenty of time. Plenty of time for a Cooper Cup, a Josh Reynolds, maybe something even bigger. All right, Steve Smith Sr. reveals a Chris Godwin, another Buccaneer for Brewster out of 299. How many times will wardrobe malfunction be mentioned during the broadcast, during the entire broadcast, from kickoff until final whistle? Halftime does not count. Behind Gronk is what? 24 at 99, TJ Watt. That goes to Steel Curtain. So Saints and Steelers doing well at this break. 81 out of 99, DeAndre Hopkins reveals a Patrick Mahomes relic. Rookie Phenoms, 14 out of 49. Chiefs, that'll go to Dano. Oh, sorry, the over-under on a, on a wardrobe malfunction is 1.5. Over is a plus... Plus 300. Under one and a half is minus 500. So they're saying under is the favorite. Yeah, that, that feels like under. I think they'll just mention it once. I don't think anyone was going to say it again. But I don't know. During the broadcast? Oh, maybe I'll, Yeah, under. They might not even mention it at all. Why would they talk? Why would they talk? Why would they mention? Why would any of those those? I think NBC is doing the game. Why would those announcers mention more than? Well, is that the first T.J. Watt seal curtain? Uh, next prop. How many times will Tom Brady's age be mentioned during the broadcast? Over one point five. Over one and a half times is minus two eighty. Under one and a half times is plus one eighty five. That's got to be over, right? Well, that's why the favorite is over. See, here's the thing. If the game is a blowout, if the game's a blowout any other way, then it's like, then you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what they're going to talk about. It, it, could, it, could be, it could be all crazy. Yeah, everyone says, yeah, the over is minus 280, so the favorite's definitely definitely over. I don't know if there is even value in taking the under on that. I don't think there is. I would pass on that. Um, let's see. Let's skip this. Uh, how many times will Giselle, Tom Brady's wife, uh, how many times will Giselle Bunchen be shown on, the te on television during the broadcast? Over 1.5, minus 120. Under 1.5, also minus 120. They're not, they're not too sure which way it's going to go. It's from final kickoff kickoff until final whistle. Halftime does not count. Behind Jarvis Landry is Limited Ink, Michael Bennett. 2 out of 15. Over? It's got to be over, right? <laughs> not enough, says Schroeder. Antonio Brown, 26 out of 99. Reveals a Luke Keekley relic, limitless, one out of 125. Panthers with that relic, that'll be for the S Man. Yeah, Giselle's pretty easy on the eyes. Antonio Brown. And behind Blake Bortles is. See? Nothing to be worried about. 127 out of 299, Jersey Auto, Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup for the Rams. That's for Matt Schroeder. I believe this is his first break. A little new guy mojo right here. There you go. Congrats. Cooper Cup had a nice season. All right, next one.
That's right, gotta play the whistle. Will Donovan McNabb's vomiting incident from Super Bowl 39 be mentioned during the broadcast? Yes is plus 170. No is minus 250. I feel like they will. I feel like they will. I feel like there's some value in taking yes at plus 170. Put like a penny on that. All right, behind Travis Kelsey is a redemption. Behind Joe Montana is a Vic Beasley Jr. 13 out of 49 team trademark autograph for the Dirty Birds. Dale Hardy with that one. There you go, Dale. Behind Josh Norman, 23 out of 25, is Patrick Mahomes, rookie phenoms, out of 99 for Dano and the Chiefs. And the redemption is James Conner, RPA, for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. Few more boxes to go. Any other fun props? <laughs> Here's a good one. I would imagine so, Mothro. I would be surprised if the people weren't wearing eagle stuff out there. That would be the, that would be shocking. Of course, there are. I think everyone everyone around that area's got to be pumped up. Um, here's a fun one. Here's a fun prop, folks. Will Tom Brady's jersey be stolen again? You only get one thing. It's yes. Yes, or they don't even have a no. Yes at plus 1,000. I mean, it must be reported by ESPN within 48 hours of the end of the Super Bowl. See, this is why this one's crazy about these problems. What's the, who's to say someone doesn't look at this? And I guess if there's any collusion, if they find out, it would invalidate all of those, you know. But anyway, I feel like someone would be tempted to be like, hey, you know, we're, we work security here. Let's put, a, let's put 100 bucks on that. <laughs> you know, let's put 100 bucks on that and steal it. Get it, make sure it gets reported by ESPN. Yeah, the stealing. I know. Again, yeah, that means it happened before, folks. And he's like, I totally forgot about that. I kind of did too, actually. But remember, it was a big deal for a little bit. Limited Inc., Jimmy Johnson. 16 out of 49. Niners, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy with a Y. That goes to Adam Kupperman. Steve Largent, 35 out of 99, revealing a Kirk Cousins limitless relic, 110 out of 125 for Christine. And behind Randy Moss is our Darius Stewart, two color patch and autograph, 103 out of 299. Yeah, then there's all the crazy, like, you know, what color liquid will be poured on the game-winning coach. Will Al Michaels, will Al Michaels refer to the spread on the game? Yes is plus 110, and no is minus 150. I think he will. Uh, the Ardarius Stewart goes to Adam Kupperman, of course. There you go, Adam. I feel like, I feel like Mr. Al Michaels enjoys putting down a, a penny or two. He enjoys a little action. I think that's his prop too, right? Is it two and a half? I 
I think there is a prop where it's how many like penalties I think. Oh, then they have all these cross sport propositions. Like total touchdown passes, which will be greater? Total touchdown passes or total blocks by Joel Embiid? Oh, that was your own number? Steel curtains. Oh, okay. So steel steel curtains uh, is 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 making lines here. So he says number of times refs give the Patriots a favorable call over under two and a half. That's hard to. That's hard to uh, you know favorable. I think they don't they wouldn't put subjective that much subjectivity on a prop, but uh, I'm pretty sure that there is somewhere not on maybe not on Bovada, but I think. Some places in Vegas, I think, do have a just number of penalties, like over under a number of number of penalties. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Uh, let's take a look. What do, what do I want to look at here? How about we look at this one first? Emmanuel Sanders, 1 out of 25, reveals an Eric Berry. Limitless Relic out of 125. Goes to Dano and the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. The, well, when's the last time the Eagles... Well, I mean, they lost to the Patriots. I, that, that was the last time they got that close. Out of 299, the Juice. There you go, Brewster. Great patch, great auto. Nice OJ Howard. Yeah, the Philadelphia, that area will go will go bananas. Ramos, are you talking about the the yeah, are you talking about the PSI of the footballs, as Andy is saying? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see a Bovada prop on that. Someone might someone might be doing that. All right, Jason Witten. Behind Jason Witten is this Dick right here. That's his name. Grow up, folks. Dick Anderson for the Miami Dolphins. That goes to Asa. Nice. Pretty legendary dude right here. There you go. Dolphins for Asa. Nice. Nice legend. Last box. Good luck, everybody. It's a family show, you guys. It's a family show. That's, that was just his name. Grow up, guys. That's right. I'm watching Wheel of Fortune. Jeopardy is coming up next, so we have, to, we have to wait through wait through Wheel of Fortune to get to Jeopardy. It's not Sports Jeopardy though. I don't know when Sports Jeopardy is on. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. I don't think I have any randomizers to do between any cards. So the only randomizer I'm doing is for the Superb Owl Squares. So stay tuned for that. If I can pick up this last card. There you go. And there you go. And here we go. Calvin Johnson out of 99 reveals a game day swatch of Dan Bailey. You can look that up. November 23rd, 2014. Or Arthur might know just offhand. Arthur, do you remember what Dan Bailey did on this game? November 23rd, 2014. So it must be Thanksgiving 2014. 36 out of 75. DeMarco Murray, another Dick. Dick Anderson, that is. Miami Dolphins, Asa with two. Two Dick Andersons. Your 1973 
Defensive Rookie of the Year. There you go. There you go. Two for Asa. Oh, Joe Cavanaugh looked it up. So in a winning effort, Dan Bailey had it was one for one, one field goal, one made, four extra points. All right. Kind of a normal day. A little light on the field goals. I guess the Cowboys were in control. Um, and last but not least, behind Ray Lewis, what time is it? Is Samaj Pirine, two color patch and on card auto, two hundred four and a two ninety nine. Christine with that R P A at the end. Nice one for the Redskins. And there you have it, folks. And there you have it. Thanks, everyone. That was a nice break. Let's put that Deshaun Watson into a little slider box here. And let's see who gets a superb owl square. Superb owl. Let's get some dice. Let's get a blank list. Let's get everyone's names. So the name on top will get four superb owl squares. That's our brand new promo. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Good luck, everybody. We're going to randomize your list five and a five, ten the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And tenth and final time. After ten times. We have, who, who is a superb owl? Adam Kupperman's a superb owl. He wins again, twice in a row. So there you go, Adam. In the limited cases, that is. Thank you very much, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time. Um, we're going to try to get some more limited, so keep an eye out on the website. Maybe sometime next week, late next week. I don't know. Keep an eye out on the website. You should be checking it every day. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.